Jesse Nelson wants Little Mix feud to end and feels it's getting a bit mooch. A source close to Jesse Nelson has told The Mirror that she a feud between herself and her former bandmates is the last thing she wanted and believes that the fans deserve better video loading video unavailable click to play tap to play the video will auto play soon 8 cancel play now Jesse Nelson admits she hasn't spoken to Little Mix Girls by Rose Hill assistant showbiz editor 17 colon 30. 26th of October 2021 updated 17 colon 40, October 26, 2021, comments Jesse Nelson is keen for her feud with her former Little Mix band members to end and feels it is getting a bit much, a friend has said. The boys singer, 30, quit the band in December last year after saying that being in the group had taken a toll on her mental health. However, the split appeared to turn acrimonious following the release of Jess's debut single, featuring Nicki Minaj, as Leanne Pinnock, Perry Edwards and Jade Thurlwall all unfollowed her on Instagram. It came after Jessie herself had a clear out of her page and now only follows 21 people on the social media site, including sister Jade, P. Diddy and Nicki Minaj. Later, Leanne's messages to a fan were allegedly leaked online, which involved screenshotted messages from a user claiming to be the Little Mix singer dubbing Jessie a horrible person. Yet a source close to Jessie has said that she a feud between herself and her former bandmates is the last thing she wanted and believes that the fans deserve better. They told The Mirror. The last thing she wanted was to be embroiled in a Little Mix vs. Jessie feud. The girls have been through a lot together and she truly believes everyone can coexist in the industry without the war of words. The fans deserve better. It's all getting a bit much. Yesterday, Jess's reps denied claims that her debut album has been delayed following the controversy surrounding the release of her music video for debut single Boys. She came under fire earlier this month after fans accused her of blackfishing, a term that refers to someone who is pretending to be black or mixed race. Jessie later apologized for any offense caused by the blackfishing claims. It had been suggested that her debut album will be released in 2022 instead of 2021, but a source told The Mirror that the album was never due to be released this year. They said, to claim that an album would be released after one single release is literally laughable and obviously was never part of the plan. Jessie is still in the studio recording new music and a second single is in the works. Anybody working in the music industry knows that an album would never follow one single release. Jessie has been subject to severe trolling over the past couple of weeks and has kept a dignified silence despite the vindictive swipes against her. While an official spokesperson for Polydor said, an album was never planned for Jessie Nelson in 2021 and therefore these claims are untrue. It comes after an insider told The Sun, there was lots of excitement that the album would be ready in time for Christmas. Jessie spent months in the studio at the top of the year after leaving Little Mix and had loads of songs ready to go. But the rollout for boys took a long time and the team and Jessie don't want to release an album after only putting out one single. The hope now is that a full collection will follow next year. They added that Jessie was still working on new music and that she is keen for it to be as best as it could be. Last week, Jess's sister slammed the singer's bullies on Instagram. She wrote, when bullies deliberately and underhandedly set out to hurt someone they never expect to get caught. That's why they try to get other people to do it for them. However, when they are exposed for and the victim simply stands up for themselves the bully quickly tries to turn the tables to make the victim take the blame. 
That's what bullies do. Follow Mirror Facebook Twitter comment.